Hey, how's it going, YouTube? I ha can't find anybody to show me this, so I finally talked to the dealership and learned I'm going to teach you how to check your rotary valve on your SeaDoo. This is a 94 SeaDoo GTX. So first of all, I went on the website, and uh, you do a Google search, and I was able to find the manual and specs. So this particular one uh, is for a 94 SeaDoo, and um, when you look under here, this says... Um, rotary, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, crankcase to rotary valve gap. It's right there at the top of the screen. You scroll over here, and it says it's between 10 and 14 thousandths of an inch. So what you do is you pull your carburetors off, and you pull this cover off. Then you got to get a feeler gauge, okay? And then you try to get the biggest feeler gauge through there that you can. And then if you can't get any a 15 through there, it's still good. But if you can only get um, a 14 in there, then fine. So, uh, so anyways, this is it taken off. Um, so when you look in here, you can see the rotary valve physically moves when I turn the crankshaft, see? Okay. So you get your feeler gauge, okay? I'll try to get this video, a little tricky, tricky. There you go. And what you do is you take this and you stick it in between here. And I don't know if you can see, but mine physically fits. Okay? So that's not good. That's not supposed to do that. Ideally, if you can stick a 15 through there, it's out of specs. Now, at a 15, you could probably just replace the rotary valve. They're like 35 bucks or something. But mine's so worn out, and I know for a fact that this rotary valve has now had three motors. So I know this rotary valve's worn out. So a company called SBT in Florida has these rotary valves in stock. They're 100 bucks and they're exchanged, so they'll mail me one out, I mail this one back, and vada boom, vada bing, we're done. Oh, they also sell the rotary valves for like 35 bucks. So, plus O-rings and gaskets and all that stuff, so make sure you pick up the O-rings and gaskets that you need. I got a whole kit here and here, so it should have all the gaskets I need. So for the ones for here, for the ones for here. So anyways, um, that's pretty much the, the way you check it. Um, again, I hope this uh, video helped because nobody else, I couldn't find a video on how to test it. So that's for you guys. Later.